So do solar panels work in the rain? Yes. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. No, I'll elaborate on that really and try and pick the third worst day we had uh, since we had the solar panels installed at the end of March 2022. Now it was a day in August and I knew by the weather reports that the next day was going to be dark and gloomy and rainy all day. So I thought, right, this is a really good time to test out this battery, this eight kilowatt battery I've got to kind of simulate what maybe a winter day would be like because I haven't had a winter yet and I don't know what it's going to be like. So the first thing I did the night before was set the Give Energy 8 kilowatt battery to fully charge overnight to 100%. Easy to do in the cloud uh, app or in the app itself. So that was charged by to 100% from midnight 30 to 4.30 in the morning on Octopus Go. And then don't forget from 4.30 onwards it's full price electricity. So the battery's working from 4.30 in the morning onwards. So we normally get up about 7 a.m. So the battery's already been working like two and a half hours. By that time, it's dropped some percentage already. So by the time we wake up, we're kind of near enough on about kind of 90%. So before we start, let's just look at my setup. So 14 390 watt panels, 10 on the south, four on the east, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, and then four kilowatt inverter, and then an AC battery inverter, three kilowatts, and an eight kilowatt give energy battery as well and the my energy for heating the uh, my energy eddy for heating the hot water and the hypervolt ev charger of course looking outside it was horrible it was gray it was raining it had rained overnight as well so now let's have a look at the day and see how the battery lasted and how much power we actually got out of the solar panels even though it was dark and gloomy and raining so here we are look at the weather 99% 90% chance of rain with it kind of getting better towards about four o'clock when really the solar is not going to be great really anyway by that time uh, even though it does even if it did come out really sunny so this is what I'm expecting it's been raining overnight and it's still going to rain for most of the day so this is 8 22 a.m. so just 50 watts coming out of the uh, panels at the moment so not a lot at all and then 856 160 watts so getting better so this is nine o'clock basically the battery's already down to 84 percent um, so we've used 16 percent so far since we uh, fully charged it at 4 30 in the morning when it finished fully charging 9 15 just over 200 watts not quite enough to run the house yet so we're drawing a little bit from the battery and then 10 o'clock a lot better 400 watts even though it's raining outside we can run the house now and even at 400 watts we're pushing out a little bit to the battery of 200 watts still nice and gray outside weather's not really improved at all uh, the panels at kind of 11 o'clock a.m we're all getting kind of 40 watt hours each really on the uh, east and on the south 11 a.m 326 so not much movement yet at 11 a.m 12 o'clock noon 325 watts again very similar not really putting much into the battery now but then one o'clock comes and we're up to 500 watts so it must be clearing up a little bit and then two o'clock 900 watts that's good we can now put a little bit more power back into the battery as you can see here got up to 1.4 and uh, putting one kilowatt into the battery and then 1.5 at three o'clock so it's really cleared up now the weather um, so we did manage to put a little bit back in the battery to uh, help it along its way so this was the overall day 4.68 kilowatt hours not very good at all but as you can see from the graph it didn't get much better towards the end of the day and kind of died out at 8 p.m um, the peak time was about two or three o'clock uh, but not for very long as you can see by that very sort of thin spike so not too much went actually back into the battery at all so each panel during the day in total got about 300 watt hours so 300 watt hours for the whole day on each panel very similar between the south and the east in the end 
This shows uh, solar to battery. So you can see on the yellow what went into the battery from the solar panels. Not a lot, but mainly from about 2 p.m. onwards, I got a little bit in there. These are half or 30 minute tick marks. Um, and the grid to the battery on the left in red just shows the, how much power I put into the battery overnight to kind of fill it. So not too much solar was actually put back in the battery, even though on those other graphics I kind of showed you on the My Energy screens that there was power uh, being pushed back into the battery. It, it, it did a little bit, but not for very long. And this bar chart, it kind of shows uh, how much in green the battery we used during the day. So a little bit was used early in the morning. And then as you can see, it ramped up towards the evening time when of course you'd expect that when things are turned on, dinner's being cooked, people are watching television and that sort of thing. These graphs are all taken from the Give Energy um, PC dashboard, cloud, whatever you want to call it. And this uh, bar chart shows the amount of solar that came into the house during the day and how much went solar went to the battery that we saw before and the other one and the solar to the grid as well. But mainly you can see the solar to home, um, how much solar was produced during the day where most of it was peaking around two o'clock to three, four o'clock when the sun did come out a little bit, but obviously it was really rainy in the morning and then it sort of just faded away again by about 4 p.m. This last bar chart is an overall one showing the solar that came into the house during the day in yellow and then the grid to the home. So we used a little bit of grid um, and then the battery to the home, which is in the kind of dark blue as well. So this is something else I just wanted to show you. This is uh, data's coming out of the Give Energy uh, graphing area and it's just downloaded as a CSV file that you can import into Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel and what it tells you is all the data based in sort of half an hour uh, segments really and what I've managed to do is to see the battery pull the battery to home kind of column and then I wanted to just kind of work out what was left in the battery like cumulative so I've kind of done a little bit of um, adding up here and uh, I've done the added the cumulative columns going down to see what it added up to. And then for the kind of uh, battery, I started on 100% and 8.2. And then I've just really looked at the battery percentage uh, going down to see how quickly it kind of ran out. And also with that, I've looked at the actual kilowatt hours to see what was kind of left in the battery uh, during the day. And then once you've done that, um, it's quite easy to then actually graph out automatically through um, Excel just to give you a better idea really of kind of when you were using the battery the most on this kind of rainy day. So you can see we sort of started off on a, a gradual slope and then when it came to kind of the afternoon it started to take a bit of a, a faster downturn and then when you got to kind of six o'clock and it was being really used obviously when people were home and dinner was being cooked and TVs were on you can really see that fast sort of slope down and that's where we kind of ended up at midnight 30 before it got charged up again at kind of around um, you know 10% left although the battery does has have a reserve of 4% so really there was only 6% left uh, at the end of the night um, when it could then be sort of charged up again at midnight 30. So what did this four kilowatt hour day really cost me? Well, this is taken from the Octopus Energy dashboard and the consumption I used, so I imported uh, from the grid 6.2 kilowatt hours. Some of that was to fill up the battery and some of it was just little bits and bobs coming into the house during the day. So 6.2 kilowatt hours. If we times that by the night rate of 7.5 pence, it works out to be 46 and a half pence. So I'd like to say 50p probably maximum for the day. And did we export anything? No, not really. Here it is 0 0.1580 kilowatt hours. Um, barely, barely anything. <laughs> to be honest, so we won't even calculate that. So do solar panels work in the rain? 
yes they do uh, but you won't get a lot of power out of them as I've just demonstrated in this video really when you saw that I was only getting kind of two three four hundred watts out of a, uh, a five kilowatt kind of array but all in all I was quite happy the actual eight kilowatt battery did last the whole day until sort of midnight 30 when the cheap rate came on again um, I think having that little bit of solar did help going to the battery uh, it sort of kept it put a little bit back in again um, it was a good test this day but not a perfect simulation mainly because in the winter I won't get that kind of solar at, at 4 5 6 p.m. it will obviously be dark by about 3 kind of thing in the afternoon so it could be that the battery may not last in the winter but until we get to the winter I really can't tell you but thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.